The next poet I'm going to call to the stage um, is a poet I performed with us, um, I think, six times. Um, he's in the building tonight. He's going to do his thing. I'm going to call to the stage. Show your love for Distinguished. He's in the building. Put your hands together for Distinguished. My teacher puts his hand on his forehead and holds it up as the elbow leans forward on the desk. I put my thoughts on the white sheets, my words across it like culture tape when I block my even worth walking. The truth is inevitable. View of discretion is advised. This is a rated all poem. Set from God, wrote by God, and signed by God. Speaking about God, let us give him your undivided attention. Give God through me our undivided attention. Should I talk about the earth being made in seven days and explain why seven is number that means complete perfectness? The further going off the same, we hold these truths as evident proof. Human beings are perfect. Yes, still. We fought for greatness a long time ago. This is hell. We still have devils to climb back up to because we are lost. Schools are not institutions that miseducate the children. That tells the faith from society, you can't tell us the goddamn truth. Come over here. I'm over here skipping the damn poems. Schools are not institutions that help and educate children so that they may be productive for the future. But those books are burned from the ancient libraries, cemented and buried. There's new information that's oblivious to me. So now these new textbooks, brochures, and workbooks are supposed to enlighten and challenge my naive mind. Tapping into my unawake spirituality, harnessing the intellectual soul that dwells with the nigga. You must be kidding me, right? Why do I need to know right from wrong with overseas death and tragedy in my hood? Why well, must I say he's my brother or my sister if they're not biologically related to me? Who cares about the laws of life in places all around the world, such as Tibet, Korea, South Africa, Darfur to be exact? In fact, the life works express either that back to the album next. Doesn't matter if I attend high school, earn my high school diploma or GED, while still in the pursuit of life, liberty, and happiness, now and then, that's too much. If I'm already getting 300, 400, 500 Gs a week, what kind of nigga would get out of I mean, let's be for real. Gang bang is all I know. We own Chinese souls out this motherfucker. Local bodegas, barber shops, pawn shops, liquor spouse out this bitch, club vendors, you know? You put your keys over, see the killer just dropped every week, we supply, we feed mothers, we can manage tea. And carry natural disease, but other than that, we smoke that weed to get a release. Shh. Why would I want to go? Or even own a church? When even they know what the golden sex is. It's money. And how's money the root of all evil? And lots of it help establish your business. After all, running a church is a business. Our offerings, my tithes, your pennies, dimes, nickels, and quarters adds up. Get so called saved. Adds up, you people sell your souls. You'll be buying your funeral. While that church gets more powerful and popular, you the grave your identity. You say you're a Christian, but don't even know where that religion came from, originated from, how it was formed, and how it came about. And on a real, history repeats itself, my nigga. I'm proud to be a nigga, where at least I know I'm me. And I don't really care about the niggas who die, though they made mad right for me. And I'm proud to man up and say these things because I'm not afraid. I'm proud to be a nigga and I'm getting paid. I mean, the N word is cool to say now, even though the slaves are called niggas. Women break the rabbit the side of miles in front of their men. Men tied to horses facing opposite ways. The same owners that beat the wild beast belligerently until my man was at the boy's scattered body pieces. Mm. Even though we were lynched, tear gassed, the water hose down. Even though they bombed Dr. King's and Malcolm X's home and bombed God's four little angels in that church and never got to start high school, let alone finish it. Hmm. Reading the word of God, Adam and Eve weren't allowed to eat from the tree of knowledge. I wonder why we are deaf, dumb, and blind. We aren't supposed to be educated. Nigga, 
Oh nigga is a new brother. And bitch is a new sister. Why well, can't by the time way back when 500 years ago that nothing to do with me? Like, yeah, that's for real. I really ain't talking about this. The slaves are dead. Pee on their brain. Life goes on. Well, look here, I was getting this money. We have a session out this motherfucker. Even though we have been in this since 2001, we've been in this psychologically longer than we can remember. We was not to remember. Congrats to Obama, though. Come on. Congrats to Obama, though. He ain't right out now. Shit, he's black. You better paint that bitch black, too. Shit, it's out of town. I ain't gotta go to all that Nicky D's, Ob's, I can't see no more. Shit, I can get rid of my white. Boss, fuck him. On the flip side, being in the hood is great. Got my do-rag and fitted on my new polo shirt, pants, and solo down my boxes show. I heard that started in the prisons. It means another connotation. I ain't finna talk about <laughs> I like the females with the big mirrors because I see myself in them. Get it? I said I like the bitches with the fat asses because I see myself being a pleasure driver and her backseat passenger. Don't get me wrong though, I mean, girls are like busted. If you miss the first one, hop on the next one, my nigga. It's not a big deal. I can't be lovey dovey, even though I like RB, still I must clap in the street with my heat for the cheese, still I can't enhance my bold color. Breathe. A. B. C. It's the third letter in the alphabet. B. Life is very. Scare My teacher puts his hand on his forehead. My brothers and my sisters are confined to a program lifestyle and believes that's a democracy, which is really a dictatorship. Allows us to be all they can be. Have we already learned? Schools are miseducated institutions that miseducate the youth. They tell us to be faithful to society, but can't tell us the goddamn truth. The past will never be forgotten, it will never be forgave, because the forgivers aren't forgiven for being slaves. Still, when we die, we die by the name we shouldn't even claim. I blame all of us. I'm in awe of us. We refuse his trust. We then allow our eyes to lust. Some blame it on the dust. Some blame it on the fruit. Some blame it on his love. George Bush said, no child left behind. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs>